Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. As a reminder, this portion is just the introduction, and this will be seen on all the videos. I will put a timestamp so you can bypass the introduction, though I hope you watch it at least once to get to the individual readings for your sign. Okay, now I am Debbie. Welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am reading for April 29th, 30th, May 1st, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Interesting energies, but to go, let's tell you what cards I'm going to use first. I am going to use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main reading. My John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, I'll pull one or try to. I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the overview for this introduction, to see what's going on in the universe, I will use my Weight Rider, you know, the original tarot deck, and I will pull one from my, I always have to look at this, Colette Baron Reed, the good tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, and whatever filters through, I try to deliver without too much of my commentary. Anyway, there's a lot going on. I've been posting this in Facebook, Instagram, and also um, on the community page in YouTube. There's a lot of things, a lot of memes. Everybody is saying that it's very, very positive energy. But let's just kind of go through this just a moment, just to kind of go through. Now, we have Jupiter is in Pisces right now. It will be here for a little bit of time, then it will transition to Aries, but not just yet. We have Saturn in Aquarius for another year. We have Pluto in Capricorn. Now, Pluto goes retrograde, still in um, Capricorn, on the 29th. And that will be at 2.46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can make an adjustment on that. Many of the memes, many of the energies, many of the commentaries are saying that this is going to be a very powerful, um, a powerful uh, adjustment. Now remember, Pluto um, is, you know, is about death and destruction, but with death and destruction is also rebirth. So very strong stuff going on, especially in Capricorn, which is about very much your, your grounded energy, your home, your work, your getting things together type of energy. Now we are in Taurus, which also has that grounded, let's get things together, let's work on projects, let's take, you know, take things um, as they need to be taken. However, Taurus is a little more methodical than Capricorn energy. So that's what really helps us to get um, our thoughts and what we're doing more in alignment. Now, other things, and I am looking at my notes here, uh, we do have Venus still in Pisces, Mars, uh, Mars in Pisces, Uranus is in Taurus, Tor and it will be there for another, I think, two more years, and that's always expect the unexpected. So we have, again, we have uh, the 26th, we started the Mercury, the shadow of Mercury retrograde. Now, Mercury does go into Gemini on the 28th, I believe. Oh, the 29th um, at 6.23 p.m. So the 29th actually has a lot of stuff going on here. Um, you know, the Mercury goes into Gemini. Pluto goes retrograde in Capricorn at 2.46. We also have, let's see, what else do we have here? We have on the 30th, we have our new moon. We That's at 4.27 p.m. It is in Taurus again. We also have what's called Beltane Eve. Um, which is the eve of May 1st, which is Beltane, and it's also known as May Day. We do have a solar eclipse on the uh, 30th, which is really going to push things very forward. So we just have so much energies going on that it's, it's, it's overwhelming in many ways. Now, they're also talking about know, the planetary alignment. So what did I say that that was? There were uh, four planets, and then the fifth would be Earth. So there would be, I think it was Mars, Venus, and Mercury, because those were in Pisces at the time, but Mercury is now going into Gemini, and it's also Saturn. No, 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 I'm sorry, not Mercury, it was Jupiter, and now, and also Saturn, which is an Aquarius. Now the moon is supposed, to, the new moon is supposed to be in alignment, and also the Earth, 
and there will be this strong alignment energy I think that something really caps itself off at June 24th so a lot of people are talking about this being a very magical time remember waning moon as the moon gets smaller is when we release things so up to that 30th it's a wonderful time to get rid of things the 30th starts that new cycle that new moon the new moon calendar and that's a wonderful time to start on new projects okay so very strong stuff going on that 28th 29th 30th and May 1st use the energies use the energies to your benefit put out what it is you want to start put out what it is you want to get rid of we have the alignment we have a ton of solar energy solar storms going on um, you know, I would I kind of feel like we might want to watch the weather a little bit at that time also, not sure why, but um, it's just a really, um, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a very tumultuous um, time for us, but I think it's going to be a very cleansing time for us, which could also be very positive time for us. But now, like I said, we've talked about what... Um, you know what others and I posted what others are saying about this time but why don't we see what the cards have to say for this time you know what you know ask higher power what is going to happen for this weekend what's the 29th 30th May 1st what's going to happen what do we need to know what are the energies going to be like let's see oh a card already the knight of cups now okay knight Knight, um, underlying energy, all the court cards have like a dual, a dual energy, dual energy. So the underlying energies for knights are your, is fire. Fire is your Leo, Sagittarius, your Aries energy. Passionate, burning, very determined. Now cups is our Pisces. There's got, how many planets do we have in Pisces right now? At least three, and then of course, um, yeah, Three or four planets in Pisces so that's romantic it's it's cancer and Scorpio also romantic fluid very emotional kind of this you know just this let's take this as we go but we really want what we really want so the Knight of Cups now Knights are very directional they go after what they're you know sent after what you point them to but there is this intense energy that wants what it wants it can be very spiritual also so really take whatever this is that you know that you feel in your spirit take whatever this is that you feel in your soul and you know um put it out there now we can put it out there to the universe i like to focus it a little bit more to you know higher power to god if you want um to whoever that is for you many will say to your angels I like to have that a little bit more focused, but put it out there. Now, you, and as, as this is a cycle, and you know, Beltane is that time that is supposed to be right between the equinox, the spring equinox, and the summer solstice. So there is some magical energy with that too. But the Knight of Cups does have romance, does have love, does have caring, does have commitment energy, is going after what, but yet, I am noticing though with the cup, you know, he's riding his horse, and you know but yet he's holding this cup i feel like he's also being very careful not to spill he's being very careful not to upend his cup you know I, I just feel like there's a careful energy around the knight of cups for this time okay let's see let's go on and see let's pull a couple more so committed romantic um or heartfelt very um you know going after what you want to go after but at the same time, I do feel that there is like tread carefully. Watch, watch yourself. Watch yourself as you move forward. Okay, the horse is kind of a little bit impatient. I'm feeling, you know, a little bit impatient. Wants to get moving, but the um, knight, I think, is holding the horse in check right now. Kind of watching and waiting a little bit more. Okay, let's see what the other cards have to say. The world now watch your numbers numbers do have meaning so this is a 21 so it's a two two has choices do i go this way do i go that way it has decisions it also has coming together 
This is the world energy. This is from the major arcana. This is the culmination of hopes and dreams. This says, the world says, hey, you did what you got to do. You did what you, you needed to do. Now rejoice. So there's a lot of rejoicing energy with the world here. There's a lot of um, completion energy. There is all of the energies here. We have the air energy on this. Um, you know, the air energy, which is our Gemini, our Aquarius. It's also our Libra. So we do have Gemini and Aquarius going right now. It does have our fire energy. It has our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. We talked about that. Passionate, burning, very committed. It has our earth energy here, which is our Capricorn, our um our Taurus, which we're in right now, and this is a Taurus new moon, and it's also Virgo, very grounded, very um, tangible, money, job, career energy, and it has the water energy that I talked about too. But there is a completion to this. There is an there is an ending to this energy here. So there is something again going to something that means a lot. Being a little, being kind, being careful, you know, not necessarily rushing in at the same time, but not holding back. Though I do feel like he does have control over his horse. The horse wants to kind of go forward a little bit more. I feel like with the head down, wants to kind of charge in, but yet he's holding it and saying, no, we can't do this quite yet. We have to watch. We have to wait a little bit. But then the world comes and says, completion, good job, has a very positive all the energies for us okay next card and then we come to the tower the tower energy so this is really very interesting too because the tower now we have a 16 we have the 10 10 is transitional energy one new beginning zero is um god source energy we have a six six is the number of man it's the energy you put into something it's also um you know it it's it's also, if you add the one and the six together, it becomes a seven. That's a divine energy, divine number, divine umbrella, like I like to say it, a divine covering. The tower energy is the rug is pulled out from underneath the feet. Now, remember, this is kind of what's going on in the universe. So the top, the, the rug is pulled out. The, t the tower, the old energies have to be dissolved. The old energies have to leave. They have to be gone. They have to stop. They have to, you know, they have to dissolve. I'm just getting dissolved, the word dissolve. Now you can look at it, you know, there's, you know, the crown is knocked off. You know, I'm kind of really being drawn to that crown being knocked off. There are people jumping, people, you know, just leaving. Um, you know, the fire in the tower, there is lightning striking. I kind of feel like this is, a, is that weather thing going on too. Um, and it doesn't mean, you know, so it's kind of like, you know, you know, you could kind you know, there is, there is a lot of, uh, oh, I'm, I am getting a lot of weird disaster type of energy. So I'm kind of saying like, let's watch that weather patterns or something going on here. The thing about it is it's kind of like, we are over here, and again, the knight is saying, just watch, watch, wait, wait, watch. The world is saying things are going to be really okay, but then that tower kind of makes it a little bit scary for all. But at the same time, I'm going with these two cards. because, And also, too, with the tower, the tower makes way for the star energy. And the star energy is about hope. So it's kind of like everything has to come down in order for the for hope to begin. Interesting with that. Let's see what happens. And that, remember, this is world energy. This is universal energy. And there's a lot of people saying there's going to be magic happening this weekend. So let's see what we have going on here. I do feel it's going to be positive. I mean, I do feel that whatever this is about, even if this is on the rougher side, we come out of it much better off because of, you know, I feel these cards say things are going to be okay. Do not worry. You know, be not afraid. Be not afraid. Okay, let's see what we have here now. Let's go on with the, again, Colette Baron Reed, the good tarot, the good tarot cards. Let's see. Oh, okay. This card fell, popped out. The Messenger of Water. So this would be your page of water. 
Um, the page is underlying energy is that earth energy that I talked about. You know, that job, career, your home energy, the messenger. The water energy is, again, the cup energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. So there could be some interesting messages coming. There could be um, some interesting communications coming. The messenger, you know, she. this is the messenger. Messenger wants to bring a message. But it's, it's, it, it is, you know, remember that, that page energy is that tangible energy. But pages are also very, um, you know, are very optimistic. Pages are also very, no matter what, you know, fire, earth, whatever, they're very optimistic and they believe that things can happen, you know, that, that anything is possible. The messenger of water is emotionally, uh, give, brings an emotional message saying, you know, again, maybe there is something to do with hope. I can't, you know, I don't know, but I, I kind of get that card. I feel like I want to pull one other card here. Let's see. We have the two of earth. And we have the nine of fire. So again, two of earth, decisions, earth energy, decisions, which way are you going to go? We do have that energy, but then the nine of fire, nine has, let's wrap it all up, stay, st stay strong. The earth energy to me says there's going to be decisions made. There, you know, you're going to have to make some choices about maybe it could be about and I don't mean you per se the universe is presenting choices it could be about job could be about money okay could be about balancing of money the nine of fire is always there is a light there is a light to guide you and you need to follow your light now the nine of fire is also about standing firm and stand and being very determined but I am getting because of this card I am getting follow your light follow the light Okay, so we've got some really interesting energies here. Let's see what happens this weekend. Um, you know, the cards, you know, let me know. I've been enjoying your comments. I've been enjoying that I've been able to, to, to comment on your comments. So, so some things have lightened up a little bit for, for however long. And I have been enjoying your comments, and I've been enjoying the words of um, affirmation that many have been giving me. So I thank you. For that. Okay, why don't you take a moment, please, let me to get over here to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Remember, this is just the introduction, though there was a lot here too. And now we're going to start our readings. And hello to my Leos. Oh my goodness, my Leos. I hope you're having a wonderful week because I know that the week um, cards were just like, wow, wow, let's rock, let's rock and roll. And now we come to the new moon. We come to the new moon and Uranus, Taurus, all of that energy. So let's see what we've got going on for my Leo. My higher power, what does my Leos need to know? Can you give us something, can you give us something wonderful? Here we go. Let's see for my Leos. Here we are. What magic can be done? All right, one two and three. Three cards are face down. These over here. Nothing's reversed. Let's see what we've got here. First card is justice. Ooh, now remember justice to me when we have Mercury retrograde, which we're about to have because we're in that shadow, that means that there's a lot of divine justice. There's a lot of karmic justice. A lot of the energies that you've been putting forth that you just keep waiting for and waiting for and waiting. Is anybody listening? Does anybody hear? This is where the, you know, higher power, divine energy, whoever you want to say, picks up the phone and says, Oh, I was about to get back to you on that. So we have an eight. Eight unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. We have that justice energy, that karmic justice. It could be legal, but we don't, you know, that you have to go talk to a lawyer about the legality issues. I feel like this is that earth. You know, Mercury retrograde, I don't, you know, I will tell you the one thing I don't do, I try not to buy electronics during Mercury retrograde, yes, and I do get shocked all the time when Mercury is retrograde, but I do believe Mercury retrograde now does bring some people from your past so you can actually some you know do some balancing with that karma. Maybe there's some people that need to forgive you, need to that you need to forgive also. And that's one of the things that happen. But 
Justice is when the scales start to even out a little bit. So if you feel like my Leos that you've been putting out and putting out and waiting and waiting and waiting, this could be the time that, like I said, the phone is answered. Here we go. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Your next card is the Eight of Air. Now, Eight again. So we have those eight ener that Eight energy going on. The Eights again, you know, unlimited opportunity and possibilities. Very much infinity type of energy. Air energy is, again, our Aquarius. Saturn's in Aquarius. Gemini, Mercury's in Gemini, so there is some things going on with that. Libra, we just had that Libra full moon still pushing forward, still working towards balance. This one has, this has that caged in feeling. This is, this is saying, you know, you feel like things aren't moving fast enough for you. Things aren't happening fast enough for you. It's kind of like, you know, uh, you know, like being in a, in a, um, you know, kind of being in a straitjacket or being in a, uh, you know, a sleeping bag that's just too tight and you just want to kind of like just break out. You just want to kind of make things change. Now, that will be a little bit to do with that Uranus coming so close to Taurus new moon. So just know that. Just know that that feeling will be very natural and that will also have to do with the solar eclipse that we're having too. So those are some feelings that as things are starting to really breakthrough, because I get this breakthrough type of energy, we're just, you know, we, we really need to make sure that we don't say, oh, you know what, nothing's going to happen, because it's just, you know, it, right before things start to really get big, right before that diamond starts to, you know, the pressure is on. Now, some of this is with the aid of air, is our own thoughts, though. So just know that. Know that when things feel like they're tight, it, it, that's when we're ready to make some changes. It makes the, the universe, I'm saying the universe is ready to make some changes. So an illusion of being trap, trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Let's see what this last card is. The seven of earth. So seven, divine umbrella, divine interference, divine intervention. Earth energy is our Capricorn, Pluto's in Capricorn, and remember, it's going re it's going retro right now, reverse, and that you know basically Pluto destruction, death. Oh no, what are we gonna do? But it comes with that is rebirth, and things have to be broken down in order for that rebirth. Okay, Taurus, new moon, Uranus. <laughs> you know, if you've been following me, my Leo's Uranus. Yes, always something new, Uranus. Um, changes in career, changes in direction, changes in job, but we do have that, you know, so, so we have a lot of that um, divine umbrella, divine energy going on. We have that earth energy going on, job, money, career energy, home energy. This is saying you've got, you know, you're more than ready. You're more than ready for whatever this breakthrough is. Have faith in that, but, you know, and it, it does feel tight energy here. But you are more than ready. You've done all the work you needed to do. Justice is coming. Divine justice. Karma justice is coming. Seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. Eh, I don't always like that one. Unnecessary worry. So here, afraid to take action. Unnecessary worry. Things are about to break. Things are about to break for us Leos. Um, you know, just, just stay firm with that. Okay? That one wants to pop. No, yes, maybe, maybe so. Let's see what this is. Foundation and achievement. So we have a four. Four, stability, leadership, also organization. We have the rainbow that's over our home, the blessing of our home, foundation and achievement so that we have built that good foundation. We have done the things we need to do. Achievement. Um, I was kind of a little hesitant with this, but this goes along with the Seven of Earth. But let's go ahead and we're going to just pull one more card and see. You know, higher power. But this means we've done the work. We've done what we need to do. Okay? It's just now that waiting game. It's kind of been giving it into, um, you know, higher power's hands. But like I said, I do feel like the, the you know, oh yeah, I've got, yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. I haven't, haven't we dealt with that yet? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Okay, let's do it. Let's deal with that. Here we go. Let's see what we have here. Higher power for my Leos. My Leos. Hmm, what is this one? 
the base chakra. So we have a one, new start, new beginning. Your base is your sense of security. That kind of goes along with all three of these. This is just, you know, this is uh, your home, your, your, um, how you grew up, your self, not to, you know, to some, to some point it is your self-esteem, but this is your security. This is, you know, whatever this is all about, this justice will help you to feel more secure. Could that be your money situation? Could that be, there is a lot of earth energy with this. Don't worry so much about it. Things are happening. Things are definitely happening. Trust your justice. Trust justice. Trust Archangel Raguel. So chakra energy, that is where your soul, spirit, and body, physicality meet. I like that explanation of it. This is about your security. Sometimes this has to do with your childhood. So it might be facing some childhood fears. It might be facing some security issues, but you've got that seven and you've got that, you know, that seven of earth and you've got that foundation and achievements. So let me know what this means to you. But that justice to me is really very, is really the whole thing. It's that universal karma. You know, if you've been putting out good energy, good energy comes back. Okay, let's see what crystal or energy for my Leos. Hematite. Hematite is self-healing, grounding, right opportunities, justice, justice. Interesting with that. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Okay, interesting stuff for my Leos. Never, um, never clear cut, but it is, you know, it is good energy. There's a lot of things that are still being cleared up, um, but justice, justice is coming. Okay, anyway, my Leos, take a moment, please, to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Leos, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.